booty cheeks. I should have just said I was fine. But she needs to know. Oh, look, it's that stoner guy. Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So, you should probably go. Okay. I'm gonna get slapped. It's okay. I'm gonna kill, I'm gonna kill Bill, so it's alright. Uh, Over here got a pregnant woman crying. What's wrong with this man? She's a strong woman. Surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. How we know it's your kid? I know paternity tests in the apocalypse. Calm down. Carver. Broke ass looking half an ass fucking ass. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are. Alright, come on. You won't end up over in that chair. Now you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. Mm, he I don't was think a funny did. guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will. And weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. Okay. I understand. I knew you were a smart girl. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a you didn't really have a reason to kill him. Make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. Us? You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility. <laughs> to I wish killing him killed you. No. Keep them safe. We're just going to go with your right. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I know. I have to do everything for them. It's exhausting. We're gonna play him like a fiddle. Of course it is. But that's the role you're meant to play. And we're more alike than you think. No, we're not. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye. I kept your nerve. Your head. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. I ain't Kids shit. like you, raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off. I'm not gonna to, say anything to him. But I ain't worried about that anymore. All right, now. Well, you there? Nope, that's what I say to him. Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. <laughs> I can play mind games, Carver. Eleven-year-old. Well, I'm about to fuck your shit. You better get fucked over by an 11-year-old. Because we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. Kenny's so you want to bring a dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Kenny, mm. do not speak to me like that. Yeah, okay, okay, say. sorry. I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Oh, come on. Oh, how do you know about Luke? You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. 
The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? Because I'm Bill's I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Penny. No, that's all right. You we can do exactly both. A peach either. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Well, I'm okay. like an so adult sitting at the adult radio. table. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. This dude's you just don't plan to improvise. Part of the ear. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. <laughs> if the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. Interesting. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. That's what Lee did to Clem. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Lee figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. How are we gonna still have to find a way to get in the stock room. You know they know. I got a plan for they that count too. their Come on, radios. Kids. Gonna need your help. Oh, you're gonna boost me, ain't ya? She gonna boost Where the me. hell did she come from? I don't know. I feel like we know her. Maybe we don't. We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Probably. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Excuse me. Come on. Up I mean, I'll wait like... Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get I'm that not right your down. girl. Mike, I'm you Lee's boost girl. Up? Ooh, that lag there. Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. If I fall, y'all motherfuckers better catch me. Yo, this been going on forever. Oh. Up and daisy. Okay, I probably weigh like a buck ten now. Try to hurry, all right? Hurry? I don't do you... think they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They oh, see you not in your bunk. We're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. <sighs> Clem always gonna do everything. Yo, the horde is We're here. In trouble. The horde is here already. Like a couple days or so. Man, boy, like, is Carver's people even looking out? There's like a wave of zombies already here. Okay, time to go stealth mode. Sure. What about how many there are? Yeah. 
How can I be? Look, I hope they pass by us. God, yeah. You think we're ready this time? I don't know. Shh, don't you don't see are. me. Of course he does, but he thought the same thing last time. Oh. We learned a lot since last time. the one time Carver looks up. <laughs> There's Clem. We'll find out. <laughs> they turn this way. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't turn to look at me. I don't know where I'm going. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Alright, let's go this way. Hold up. Oh. I mean, they get a good idea. It's just Carver is just crazy. And they're so afraid of him that they're going along with it. And they're just as crazy because. They don't want to fucking die. He's over here just throwing people off roofs and shit. Imagine what he'll do if you don't give two Fs about you. Yo, you can count two, four, six, eight, ten. They have ten radios. Like they're gonna know if I take one. It's crazy about Reggie, huh? Yeah. You think Bill? Go on. Nah, it's just I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe. Spit it out, Hank. I don't think Bill was gonna. Let him back in. Huh. You don't? No. Do you? I don't know. Reggie's dead. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. The homestead at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. What expansion? They're out there just moaning. That's what they do. <laughs> it's crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. Figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. You never got used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around. I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. They what really just there? flirting yeah. on the radio. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call them prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Oh, we're gonna steal really? two? There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can't this be smoking back <gasps> here. There's at least eight Vince, of them. Come on. Don't give me that. If Bill smells a whiff of smoke eight, back nine. here, he'll flip. What are you thinking? You know what? I'm just going to tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. Vince. Vince, come on. They Vince. really be ratting on each other. They really do be ratting on each other. How am I supposed to get down, though? Just realized. <sighs> but I sold two radios. Easier to steal one than it is two. Psst. Are you gonna catch me? You get him? Yeah. Okay, jump down. I got you. Do you? I don't think you do. Oh, he does. We best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well? Don't show it. Got him. She said you got him. Everybody stay where you are. No need to draw on suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. We need to... I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. Thanks. Yep. Her name is Jane. Anyway, get some rest. We didn't get her name, but her name is Jane. Why am I the one that holds the radios? I thought about Duck today. About his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he just run. He couldn't stop him. Makes it Harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day. Nick looked like he dead as hell sleeping like that. <laughs> Committed larceny. All right, we're all here. Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. 
What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we... Time to get up. Daylight's burning. They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. Rebecca, Nick, Sarah, Jane. If you gotta take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. Why just them? Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. That's the lady with the car that came and got us in 400 days. I think. I don't want to be... Just assume, but I think I'm pretty sure that's who that is. All right, look. If we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, and we pair up with him, I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? No offense, but come on. That's crazy. She's a kid. Why would- There's a million reasons. She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. Who cares? And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important, I'm trusting her. Kenny's right. I should do it. Don't do something stupid just to get some respect. She doesn't need your respect. Kenny. Give me the radio. All right, little chickens. Let's get to pecking. All right. And don't think today's gonna be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's gonna be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? I hear. Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, you have your pockets all out. Gonna get your tags all snagged on something. Let's go. Why well, you gotta announce it? She looks like they got an antenna from the walkie sticking out of her pocket. They ain't that dumb. He could have put it in his back pocket underneath his hey, jacket. She's with me? Oh shit, I almost forgot. Yeah. Well, take her then. I don't care. Damn. Wait, wait, what's going on? Never mind. Just chores of a different sort. Come on, City Mouse. Can't you cut her a break? She'd really rather keep with us, people she knows. It's nothing that'll hurt her. Okay. Maybe it was meant to be. Let's it's just. It's okay. Come on. You're gonna look sus trying to fight to get over there. I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I didn't believe you. When you told me about Reggie, I ran and found Bill once I left you. Figured even if he had done it, he'd make up some sort of excuse. But Bill was just so matter of fact about it. Like he'd pulled up a weed or something. Like it had to be done. And You're gonna turn Bonnie against one him. Of those moments when your blood runs cold. Goose pimples up and down your arm. Because it turns nips. out the person you thought you knew was never there. Yeah. You look anxious, Clementine. Something the matter? Yeah, Carver. Like, I'm scared of Carver. Of course I'm anxious. You know you can talk to me, right? Um, not yet. Not yet. I can't talk to you I just yet. I was dishonest when I first met you, but I swear on everything holy that'll never happen again. I... Uh, I need to talk to Kenny. Do you now? It's about that radio... I can understand you're uncomfortable. I won't force you to be around me if you don't want to. Go on, back out, and be with Kenny. I don't trust her just yet. I can't tell her I have a radio. Why are we backing up like that, Clem? I don't trust her just yet, you know? I trust her-ish, but not enough. 